In today's Google Ninja Hack, I'm going to walk you through creating a lead generation website that is desktop and mobile friendly and it looks really, really good and it doesn't cost you one thing. We're going to be using Google Forms, okay? So what I'm going to do is walk you through how I built this uh, lead generation website for Orange Therapy Fitness right here in Temecula, California and really it's not going to take that much time whatsoever in this first part of the hack today we're just going to be focused on creating the page and getting the leads into a spreadsheet i will be doing another hack on how to add an email autoresponder to the form so without further ado let's get into exactly how i built this particular lead generation website so the first thing you need to do is hopefully you're on Google Chrome, but you're going to need to get over to your Google Drive, okay? And so once you get over to your Google Drive, you're going to click on New. And then from there, you're going to go down to More, and then you're going to hit Google Forms. This is the default form. This is their new builder, by the way. They just released it, and you really can't even use the old builder anymore. So let's give this form a name. And the form we're going to give this is free seven day pass. Okay. That's what we're going to do. And that'll pop in right there. Next, we need to add some fields in. The first field I want to add in is going to be an image field. So I'm just going to drag that in or just click on that like this. And I have an image here that I want to drag off screen for that. So I'm just going to drag that in. All right, and then we're just going to center it. That's all I'm going to do. Next, what we need to do is add in the call to action. So down here, or actually right here, we'll click on that. And then you're just going to put in some type of call to action. And I'm going, I have it already here. I'm just going to paste it in here like that. And then we'll start adding the questions. The first question is first name. We're going to change that over to short and we're going to make it required. Next, we'll add in another question, last name. And we will again make that short answer, make it required. We'll add in another one. That, this time we'll put in the email address that required change it over to short answer. I like to do a validation. So if you want to add a validation to make sure it's an email address, you can come over here, click on data validation. And what you want to do is hit text has contains that sign and then put in please enter a valid email address okay just like that next we want to add in a phone number let's put in mobile phone again we want to change this to a short answer make it required and then the last thing since this is a fitness website we want to add in a few fitness goals so when we look at the leads we know what they're trying to achieve so let's add in one more now this is going to be a choice and we'll just type in your fitness goals doing pretty good just a little over four minutes next we're going to put in get tone and fit as a goal another one lose weight it's another common goal Gain muscle and then increase cardio health. All right, so we have everything that needs to be in here, right? So let's preview this. So to preview it, you got to click on the eye here. And as you can see, it formats really, really nicely. This is on a desktop. Also, when it's on a um, on a mobile screen, it looks really nice too. 
but I'm not too sure about these colors. We want to uh, change them out and, and make them a little, a little bit more. And the way you do that is over here under the color palette, okay? So when you click on that, you can come here and you can choose amongst these colors. Again, they use this default purple for, or I think it's this purple they use as default. What you want to do is kind of upload an image, okay? And Google is going to then take that image and grab some color out of that and then create a style sheet around it, okay? So I'm going to grab that. You want to get a decent image. Uh, you want to upload it. And I'm going to drag something over. I pre pre built this image and I'll probably be doing some type of training on how to do this at some point in the future. But this is already done. I'm going to take this and put it to the upper right corner and then I'm going to bring it here because pretty much I want to try to use as much as of this photo a little bit. What will happen is this will get cropped off a little bit across the top of the head. I grayscaled it so I made it easier for uh, Google to to kind of figure out what the other colors needed to be because there's really no way to change it. So if you don't like the colors that the image is producing or the styling, my uh, recommendation is to grayscale the picture, okay? So I'll hit select. And now you see we have that. So let's take a look at it now. We'll click on the preview. And here is our website. Looking pretty good, huh? Not too shabby. Just a few more things we need to do. So let's click back over here and we're going to go to settings. Now we need to give it a confirmation matter. We want to uncheck this. We don't want them adding another message. What we want to do, and I already have something here prepared. I'm just going to paste this in just like that. So there's our confirmation message that will be presented to them once they have filled it out. And then I'll hit save. And then the last thing we need to do since we're co collecting leads is we need to attach this to a spreadsheet, okay? And this will be wrapping up uh, this first hack with this um, training on using Google Forms. I will be doing another training on how to actually add an email autoresponder to the system after. So let's click on responses. I'm gonna go over here and you're going to click on the response right here just kind of leave it just the way it is and now what it's done it's going and creating a spreadsheet that's attached to this form so when we go and fill out this form so i'm going to go over to um, preview now just like that i'm going to fill out this form real quickly you'll see what's going to happen give them some fitness goals and then we'll hit submit and there's that message and now if we look inside the spreadsheet which you can you know share with your client or for yourself depending upon uh, your use of this there are your leads so this wraps up the training on how to use Google Forms to create a uh, lead generation website for desktop and mobile we will be doing a NOAA hack where we uh, actually put an email autoresponder to it. So hopefully you found this hack to be of value. So if you could rate the hack down at the bottom of this page, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, again, we're trying to put together a, a list of the best hacks. And also, if you have not signed up for our hacks notifications yet, please do in the left-hand side of the website, either via web or by Facebook notifications. Or at the end of this video, you can do that. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.